Color VW's environmental conscious, blue. While they don't yet offer a hybrid like Mercedes does, Volkswagen does have its own environmental label. It's called Blue Motion, and it's given to the models in each class that are the most energy saving. Among other things, it's the newly developed smaller engines that provide the fuel savings. They perform just as well, but use less fuel. Blue Motion heißt VW representative Sven Kasper points out that economically Blue Motion stands for driving a car affordably. Three Blue Motion vehicles are on offer. The Golf, which produces 99 grams of CO2 per kilometer, the Passat at 114, and the Polo, which will come out early next year with 87 grams of CO2 per kilometer and burn just 3.3 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. The Polo is the youngest member of the Blue Motion family. Its 3.3 liter consumption beats its 2006 predecessor by a half a liter. That makes the Polo Blue Motion the world's most economical five-seater. Officially, the car can go 1,360 kilometers on a single tank of gas. Even if your actual mileage does vary, you'll be cruising past a lot of filling stations. Some nice aerodynamic tricks are in here too, like a newly developed spoiler in front and an almost enclosed radiator grill. The five inch alloy wheel rims were specially designed for low wind resistance. The rear is polished smooth and features new bumpers and a rear spoiler. The VW representative says that the car features a start-stop automatic and regenerative braking, an aerodynamic package and low rolling resistance tires. The whole package is what creates the 3.3 liters per kilometer fuel efficiency. Und dieses Gesamtpaket führt zu einem Verbrauch von den genannten 3,3 Litern pro 100 Kilometer. The Blue Motion Golf uses 7 tenths of a liter less diesel per 100 kilometers than its ordinary sibling. The Passat, too, has been made into a Blue Motion energy saver. One point one liter per one hundred kilometers is nothing to sneeze at, and that's what this car should save you. The Passat Blue Motion comes in both a sedan and a wagon. In Germany, either one costs about 1,375 euros more than the standard models. But not everyone wants to drive a diesel, and some would like more choices with options. For these customers, there's the Blue Motion Technologies Options Package. It's built on the same components as the Blue Motion models, the only difference being that it doesn't include the new fuel efficient engine. But if you'd rather drive a Golf Plus, a Turan, or a Charan, the options package is a good alternative. In the Charan, the package is only 150 euros more, and your investment will be rewarded by a 7 tenths of a liter savings per 100 kilometers. The Polo with the Eco Options package will set you back around 400 euros in Germany. Volkswagen plans to offer hybrid models in the future. At the Los Angeles Auto Show, the designers from Wolfsburg introduced the prototype called Uplight. But until this hybrid is made affordable, it's the Blue Motion label that stands for energy savings, as well as pocketbook savings. Small cars are very practical. They're nimble and easy to park and don't use much fuel. But is that enough to make a driver happy? Two small cars that are also fun to drive are the Suzuki Swift Sport and the Alfa Romeo's Mito. Both look good on the outside with alloy wheel rims as standard equipment on the Mito as well as the Swift Sport. Compared to the Suzuki, the Alpha's roofline is almost like that of a coupe.
From the front, the Mito features the Alfa Romeo's familiar shield-shaped grille. The headlights are derived from those used on the Alfa 8C sports car. Suzuki doesn't have a rich automotive tradition from which it can draw styling cues. The Swift Sport is basically a typical small car that's been upgraded with some extras. The fog lights are standard equipment. The Swift Sport also comes with dual exhaust. The Mito looks like it's coiled to leap forward. The car's shape communicates its sporty ambitions without resorting to accessories like twin exhaust pipes. The car we're driving has a newly developed 1.4 liter turbocharged multi-air gasoline engine. It produces 135 horsepower and propels the 1200 kilo Mito from 0 to 100 in 8.4 seconds. Top speed is 207 kilometers an hour. The stiff suspension gives the little Italian a precise feeling that makes zipping along country roads a lot of fun. The Mito also comes with start-stop automatic to improve fuel efficiency. The inside appearance picks up on patterns set on the outside. Curved shapes and sporty features executed in materials that look and feel good. A switch in the center console enables the driver to set the engine for sporty, normal or restrained driving styles. The switches for the optimal seat heaters are a little harder to reach. The leather seats are attractive and comfortable, but cost 1,100 euros extra in Germany. The Suzuki's interior cannot match the Alphas. The Swift Sports designers and engineers appear to have followed the classic principle of design that form follows function. Heated seats are standard in the Suzuki. The only extra? An optional factory installed hands-free system. The fabric seats are comfortable but look a little bit fragile. Still, they seem to be well made. The space available in the rear seats is somewhat limited. Under the hood, the Suzuki has a 1.6 liter gasoline engine that produces 125 horsepower. The 1100 kilo car sprints from 0 to 100 in 8.9 seconds. The engine must be pushed to its red line, however, to get that kind of performance. And that comes at a price, high fuel consumption and a lot of engine noise. The Swift Sport tops out at 200 kilometers an hour, but it's more fun to push the little car through tight curves. The Suzuki and the Alfa Romeo are both agile and easy to handle, but what about utility and luggage space? The Suzuki can hold at least 201 liters of volume and up to 870 liters with the seats down. The figures for the Alpha are 270 liters and 950 liters. The Swift has a space divider behind the rear seat, and the seat back can only be folded forward in one piece. The Mito has a split fold back seat. The performance of the Suzuki and the Alfa Romeo is comparable. The Mito offers more attractive materials, more pizzazz, and is larger. It also costs a good 2,000 euros more than the Suzuki, which might lead drivers who want a sporty small car but don't need Italian Dolce Vita to choose the Swift.
Audi has unveiled its new A8 flagship sedan and underscored the company's ambitions of challenging the Mercedes S-Class and BMW 7 Series in the large car luxury market. The A8 is a bit bigger than its rivals, but thanks to its aluminum body, it's also 100 to 250 kilos lighter. A 3-liter diesel sets a new standard for fuel efficiency in the class, using just 6.6 .6 liters for 100 kilometers. In 2001, Hyundai entered the SUV market with its Santa Fe model. In January 2010, an updated version of the second-generation Santa Fe will hit dealer showrooms. It features minor changes to the front and rear and new, more attractive materials in the interior. It's available with a four-cylinder gasoline engine or a newly developed 2.2-liter common rail diesel. Prices in Germany will start at 29,530 euros. This is the heart of BMW, the company headquarters, the museum, and the delivery center. Here in Munich, it's a special day for Thomas Klein and his partner. They're picking up their new car here at BMW Welt. It begins with a bit of ceremony. At first, the BMW X5, for which they've waited six months, is presented to them visually. Good. Good. Thomas Klein, who's a Lufthansa captain, says it's just as they've imagined it. While Thomas gets a feel for his new car on the driving simulator, the real thing is being raised onto a stage in a glass elevator. The master of ceremonies handles the exchange right down to the smallest detail. Michel Rusner, head of BMW Welt's delivery center, says it's really a staging, and when someone comes down the stairs and sees their vehicle for the first time, their baby, as he calls it, then all kinds of feelings well up. And the strategy works. Thomas says the feeling is indescribable. He's never experienced anything like this before. Sabina Meyer, who's a flight attendant, says it's like a wedding. He's waited for his bride and now the moment is here. All that's missing is the exchange of rings. <laughs> but first they get a tour of BMW Welt, designed by Austrian architect Wolf Brix. The current models are displayed in the 25,000 square meter exhibition area and accented with art objects. Time for a quick pick-me-up in one of the three restaurants. Then on to the Automobile Museum. Both are especially interested in the traditions of the company that gave birth to their new car. Thomas says he could imagine that looking at the X5 from up here, the hood looks very similar. The BMW 507 from 1955, a car that's long been an inspiration for Karl Heinz Lange. He worked for BMW as a development engineer for three decades. Many of the 100 or so models in the museum bear his unique stamp. Lange says in the old days you had more freedom with the body design, things that would never be permitted today because of safety concerns, pedestrian safety and this and that. The prototypes in the museum demonstrate this joy of experimentation. The Mila Milia, for example, combines high-tech with a 40-style body. The newest concept study is called Gina. It's covered by a flexible fabric-like skin that can change shape for various needs. It almost seems as if the shape was inspired by BMW Welt itself. Karl Heinz Lange says the architecture is somewhat cool, somewhat sober, but when you look at the visitors, you can see how impressive they find it. He says you see it in the glowing faces of the people who drive down the ramp here. And Thomas Klein and his companion are no exception as they drive the long spiral through BMW Welt putting their very first kilometer on their brand new SUV.